Mia's journey in season three is all about her realising what it takes to bring about real social and cultural change. We start with her in a position where she's attempting to be a spokeswoman, trying to kind of present the friendly, acceptable face of Green Eyed Sins, but that doesn't really work. And she realises, with the help of others, that she needs to make a change. She needs to become a symbol. So she does something quite unexpected and, I suppose, quite brave, that she decides to go and live in a normal town but quite openly, so not hiding at the rail yard and not trying to pass for an unconscious synth, but just by example, leading a normal life. But she gets a lot of pushback from the people in the town. She's kind of stoic and determined to just show that humans and synths can live side by side. Go back to your own kind. As synths have always been seen as the other, there are so many analogies with our own society with immigrants. It sort of riffs off the way that we treat people in our midst who are not exactly the same as us. Do we welcome them or do we feel threatened by them? Mirai with you. You can't be kidding me. The irony that Joe moved to Waltrium to escape synths, and yet he finds himself completely entangled with synths once again in the shape of Karen and Sam. And he's a deeply decent person, despite the bad choices that he may have made along the way. And he can't help but do his best to help them. So he suddenly finds himself in this strange kind of paternal or avuncular role of the protector of Sam and Karen and trying to bring them to some sort of safety and security in the most unsafe place on earth for them. Sam! Sam! Joe's instinct, of course, is to save Sam, jump into the road, and he's sort of amazed that Karen doesn't do the same thing and finds himself uh, risking his own life to save the life of a, of a young synth. So that was her purpose from season one, that she was going to be a mother, and that was her whole reason for living and being made. Uh, and now she finally has a chance to fulfil that, but can't essentially do it properly because she can't risk her own life, which is her programming from David Elster. So she can't essentially be a mother, put something else before her. Uh, so it's quite a heartbreaking moment for Karen, I think, and a shocking realisation that she just physically can't do it.